Hello everyone, it is Saturday. <laughs> You'll see what I'm, why I'm a bit wary in a moment. It is Saturday, it is the something of March, 11th of March I believe it is, and we are actually going on our first free flight meet of the year, which is very exciting. We're meeting up with our usual friends, Fruity Flock, and we're also going to meet up with Parrot Palace, who we've not seen since the Scotland holiday last year. Lyra, get off my fingers a moment. And the reason I'm a bit wary is because someone is, um... So, yeah, she's in this mode. <laughs> Angry, angry strutty mode. Look at the grump. Look at the grumpy and this right now. You grumpus. Grumpus. Uber strutter. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. How the <laughs> She is, um... Mm -hmm. She is a little scary right now. I'm not going to lie. There we go. She's calmed down a bit now. So we're going to go for a fly for the day. And I'm actually looking forward to going for a fly because it might calm... calm. Look at this going again. It might calm Quaffle down a bit. Don't you love hormone season? But before we actually go on the fly, I do just want to make this quick mention is that when your bird does become hormonal, like Quaffle, and like Quaffle, we've had, she's nearly five now. She's coming up for five in May. That's unreal. We've had her for over three and a half years now, and we've got used to her body language. We know her signs, we know her signals, and we know what time of year she gets hormonal. And because of that, we can predict it and react to it when it happens. So thankfully, I know better than anyone right now that she, when she does that, when she is in strut mode, you do not go near her. You do not go near her, she will bite. So I apologize if there's really bad quality. Hi, get your feathers down. I apologize if there's really bad quality. I would use my other camera, but it's, the weather's a bit 50-50 at the moment. I might take it with me. I may take my camera with me, I may not. I haven't decided yet. I've just decided. We switched to the camera. <laughs> Coffle. <laughs> God. Why do you do this at this time of year? I know why she does this at this time of year, but that's not the point. But right, we are going to get the girls in their carriers and head off. Um, I wasn't going to take this camera, but it isn't meant to rain today, so I will take the risk. And if I do need to protect it, I can always put it back in its camera bag. So it's all good. Why are you getting grumpy? I see your face. Yeah, I saw. Why am I first grumpy today? What is wrong with you two? Don't you stop. Why did I do this to myself? Why did I get two birds? Oh my god. God, two grumpy hormonal birds. Yeah, no, that's not your cage today. Not your cage today. This is your cage today. Let's go. So we're actually using the alternative backpack alternative backpack for Lyra, like we mentioned in our last video, because she does prefer this by a long way. She's a lot more comfortable in this. She's still not happy about it. She doesn't like being caged at all, which is also partially our fault for letting her be so free roam for the first few years of her life. This is a lot better for her. She feels a lot safer because it's more open. She feels a lot better in general. And she also likes to climb around and play on it, which helps a lot. Yeah. She does actually prefer this a lot compared to being in a backpack like Quaffle. Like Quaffle's quite Quaffle. Quaffle's quite happy in the backpack so long as she has a toy to chew on. Whereas I don't particularly like this backpack in particular just because of the plastic sheen but it's not too bad on days like today when it's not sunny and too hot. Lyra on the other hand she would do everything she can to try and escape out of that. So we are hoping to get a new backpack backpack from Paco Bird at some point later this year but we have a lot of other things to focus on at the moment so that's going to be if we have the spare money at any point which currently we do not so no Paco Bird anytime soon. So Lyra is this is currently Lyra's backpack travel cage and this one is currently Coffles. Hold on, I know. Do you too? What's happening? Are you all ready? Yeah, it's the boys. Where are we going? That way. Get Lulu accustomed to her screams first before yeah. we even get her out. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Camera really isn't like waffle, is not focusing on her at all. Did I tell you how far I go? Can already see the panic in. There it is. That didn't take long. That is pretty 
Where am I going without treats? This is a bad idea to leave without treats. Far from you. Oh, well, for five minutes. Whoa. <laughs> uh, a Y? <laughs> Coffle went after her. Oh, Coffle, that's your fault then. Coffle flew after her. Go to the daddy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey the bean dog. Hello. 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 Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. I only just got that on camera. Or was it was it piss, pissy or was it Pippin or Percy that sounded the alarm? Pippin that sounded the alarm. Pippin just screamed and took off, followed by closely by Percy. And they went flying off and around the trees. And it turns out there's actually some red tailed ho uh, red tailed hawks. Was it we worked out? Red tailed hawks nearby. Or at least we believe it to be red tailed hawks. And definitely was not a peregrine. It was not a peregrine. We would not be flying here if there was peregrines here. So yeah, so there's some red tail hawks nearby and Percy and Pippin had some fun tormenting the hawks in the sky and flying over. Lyra did spook a little bit when she spotted them and did a couple of laps of the trees, but she did really, really well. You kept looping back, yeah? Yeah, she did, she did really well. She did, she did good. And per Pippin has currently gone off and sitting in a tree watching from a distance, so... Sophie is uh, on the patrol, <laughs> on the hunt for her. And the rest of us are stopping for snack now. Now we've had we've had a quick fly, it's time for snacks, and then probably another fly in a bit. Wait patiently for Pippin to come down from the tree. Ready. I don't know whether or not you can actually spot her on the camera right now. Or whether or not you can see her. She's in that very far tree. <laughs> very far tree, just chilling. Hey Persh! <laughs> <laughs> the bird is like, we are! Oh, 
come for play. Bubbles come for play in the trees. Meanwhile, Mario's well, being a good girl with that. Did you that for? <laughs> Birds. Oh, I'll get rid of them. Hi, Arthur. What you doing? Well, Lyra, I can't get enough of flies. They are very fast. Not me. Oh my god, Get it over Don't stop. Hi. Good girl. Got a few more minutes, so we'll put you back in your bags. Take that tail, Philip. Juju spooked because he's come towards me and I twilt tilted. No mango! No! <laughs> Wrong human! I clean it daily. <laughs> No, Juju, no! No, you're not lashing on me! It's not happening! I have like 10 minutes of footage now. It's not going to be enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to bite you. <laughs>
common voice. I have to hide them from it. Right. <laughs> Yeah, he hit Yes, we are done for the day. We have finished our day of flying and we're about to head home. The girls are tired, all the birds are tired, except for Sophie's birds. <laughs> Sophie's birds never get tired. But we're going to head home now, chill out, and hopefully do this again sometime soon. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. <laughs>